Jack Dankoff from Sure Dog here, and I'm joined with the former one flyweight champion, Adriano Moraes, who fights Demetrius Johnson in a trilogy belt on May 5th in the promotion's debut in the United States. Uh, Adriano, how are you? I mean, good, and you? I'm great. So nice. let me ask you, how does this feel to make the first headline event in one history? And you're you're the headliner. I mean, what does that mean to how much you mean to the company? Yes, man. Uh, it's uh, it's an honor, you know. It's an honor to be again in one of the most uh, incredible cards of the one championship. And uh, having to say what Dimitri Johnson say said one time: uh, the great, the greatest fighters in the the world fought in the both sides of the world. So it's my time to fight here in America. For sure. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you, you fought Demetrius Johnson twice now. You're familiar with him. Are you expecting anything different in this third fight? Yes, of course. Uh, we both always come with like different game plan or different uh, game to finish uh, our opponent, you know. And uh, Demetrius Johnson is one of the most uh, smart guys inside this game. And... Uh, he show up. He showed it in in our last fight. So uh, I learned a lot from that. So I came back to the gym, came back to my life, uh, learn a lot, and uh, I gonna uh, fix it, all the mistakes, and I go for the, this dirty dance with a different game plan and ready to get my belt back. So do you think he should be expecting anything different? Should he feel like he should be expecting an even better Marais, the best one we've seen yet? Yes, of course. Right. Uh, now, what do you make of people calling Demetrius the flyweight goat? Because you guys are one and one. You've both beaten each other. So there's just as much argument for you. Uh, in fact, up until that fight, you had never even been finished. All your losses had come by split close decisions. So what do you think of people calling him the flyweight goat? Do you agree? Uh, no, I agree. He's he's one of the greatest. You know, he has the numbers uh, for his side. You know, um, I don't have doubt about it. You know, I think he's a really good athlete. Uh, everything everything he does in his life is amazing. Uh, he's great, you know. And, uh, but for myself, I'm between them, you know, if he in the first and can be in the second and may fit, I will be in the first again. Right. Um, if you didn't, I don't know if you know this, but Dimitri has been training with a former opponent of his, Henry Cejudo. Do you think that's had any impact on his performance against you in your last fight? Do you think that's made him a better fighter? Um... Yeah, it can be. He uh, he came he came for the second the sec our second half. He came with a different game plan, but I was winning the fight, you know. So I got caught with a nice right hand, then uh, a beautiful flying knee. So it's happened with everybody, you know. But if you see if you see the fight for if you see the fight, I was winning the fight, you know. So. I just got caught with the right hand. Uh, it's good he's training with him. Sehud. Sehud is one of the best also. But I have a really good teammate by my side also. Of course. And, yeah, as you said, it, it appeared to many that you won at least the first two rounds. So that yeah. would make you 1-0 in the first fight and then winning the second fight. So how do you think the odds makers are going to put this fight? Because you were the favorite in the last one, but the underdog in the first. Do you think you'll be the favorite this time? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> right. You know. do, you, do you prefer being the favorite or the underdog? Do you like having doubters to, you know, <laughs> prove them wrong? Uh, I don't care, you know. I never, like, I never, like, pay attention about it, you know. For me, it doesn't matter. Right. Fair enough. So, how do you see this fight playing out? I know that's kind of a dumb question. It's such a... Mm-hmm 
such a big game with so many different outcomes and you're both such high level athletes, but do you predict a, a, a certain finish or a finish at all? Or do you think this is going to be a five round war or what do you expect? Yes. Uh, of course you always want to finish our opponent, you know, and uh, finish uh, the fight as soon as possible. Uh, but when you talk about Dimitri Jones, I think it's going to be a, a long night. Yeah. Uh, you won the first fight. It was a huge upset. And it, it has to be the greatest moment of your career. Maybe not, but it appeared that way. Do you think mm -hmm. winning this fight will, you know, catapult that to your greatest moment of your career, even better than the first time? Yes, of course. I think I uh, have a... a have two wins against the great of all times. I said to prove it's not just to myself, but for everybody that I'm one of the great. Uh, for my career, it would be awesome to have the second win, you know, and of course, uh, get that belt back for me. It would be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Now, the first two fights were great, very entertaining, both ended mm -hmm. in finishes. I don't think it's that crazy to say that no matter who wins this fight, we see this fight potentially playing out more than just three times because you're clearly the two best in the division in the organization. Would you say that's fair to say? Or if you beat Demetrius this time, the chapter's closed? Uh, we never say never, you know, like because everything can happen. Uh, it's it's not in my hands to decide who you're going to fight next. I'm that guy who likes just to work and I accept the opponents they give to me, you know. Um, our first fight, we break the records. You know, our second fight, I lost, but the same way, the numbers of views uh, was amazing. So uh, our goal for this next one is break the records again, the views, the viewership, and uh, bring the, the most excited organization here to America for the American fans enjoy the home of martial arts. Of course. Uh, speaking of fights that have happened or are going to happen for a fourth time, I want to ask you about a big fight in another organization in your weight class, which is Davison Figueredo versus Brandon Moreno. Do you have any prediction for that fight? How it's going to go down? Um, I, I got Davison. I, I got Davison Figueredo. You know, he's a really tough guy. You know, uh, Brandon Moreno is really good, but I think uh, Davison is more like complete. Would you love to fight either one of those guys someday, or you're not even thinking about that? Uh, if they come to one championship, uh, would be a amazing honor to to welcome them. Right. And same question for, because even though you're at flyweight, you're fighting at 135 pounds. There's rumors of Aljamain Sterling fighting your next opponent's teammate, Henry Cejudo. How do you see that fight playing out? Yeah, I got Aljamain Sterling. You know, uh, he looked jacked. He looked like ready. He, he last performance against Petrian. He last performed against TJ Gilashaw. Uh, talks for itself. You know, he just, man, he just did a really good job. He do everything, you know. I love his footwork, his kicks, his grappling is really good. I trained with him not once. We rode together and his he has a really good jiu-jitsu. And I don't think so. I don't think uh he said who is gonna is gonna be uh, in his level. Now, I know you don't want to look past Demetrius. Obviously, it's a huge test, and that's all you want to focus on right now. But after this trilogy fight, let's say you win, and there's a very good chance of that. What, what are you looking at next? Are there any opponents in mind, perhaps a trilogy bout with other fighters? or just No. I don't have nothing in my mind right now about after Demetrius Johnson. Uh, I was I was back in the gym already training for the next opportunity. Uh, I didn't know that they they would offer me Dimitri Johnson again and they would give me opportunity to fight the belt again. So as a professional athlete, I like to evolve as a martial artist, you know, like try to uh, develop my game, evolve on my skills and for my next fight, I try to I try to 
put my, my game plan in another level. So I'm blessed to receive another opportunity to fight for the belt. And uh, I go for with everything that I have, you know. And uh, for now, I don't think after that. Right. Uh, one final question for you, Adriano. Mm-hmm. People are saying this is the biggest fight in the promotion's history as it's the U.S. debut and it's a trilogy fight and people see Demetrius as one of the best ever and you knocked him out. And it's just such an intriguing matchup. You're you're a lot bigger than him, but you know he still knocked you out in the second fight. It's just It really is a phenomenal matchup. What do you make of that? Because you're still so young and now you have people saying this is the biggest fight in the promotion's history. Man, that's that's good. You know, that's amazing. Um, when when two athletes with this kind of performance, numbers, goals, the fans gonna win. You know that the night with everybody gonna win. So uh, I can't wait for this big party. You know, I hope to see everyone over there. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Well, that's Adriano Marais. He's fighting Demetrius Johnson in a trilogy fight on May 5th in Colorado next year. Uh, thank you, Adriano. It's a pleasure talking to you and good luck in your fight. Thank you very much. Have a blessed night. Thank you. Bye-bye.